everybody, every single conversation that I personally and our sales representative have had with our clients brings us to the point that not everyone knows exactly where the real Russian hair is sourced from and how to identify the Russian hair. Do you really know how to distinguish the virgin pure Russian hair versus the so-called Russian hair? And in this video, I'll be happy to give you a certain guideline on the proper selection of the pure Russian hair. So the first point is the origin, the source of the hair. The real Russian hair comes from Slavic and Russian girls that are sourced from Uzbekistan and also from the USSR countries. And it's very important to, to identify and to know who is your vendor and what's the location and what's the source of the hair. And the second point is Remy versus Virgin. So what, what's actually the difference? What is Remy and what is Virgin? A lot of people don't know the difference and don't know the answer for that question. And let me explain you. This is Remy here. And this is Virgin here. So here, why it's, this, this bundle is exactly 100 gram. And why it's exactly 100 gram? How it comes out to be exactly standardized. So the difference is the Remy here is, is blended with multiple donors. It's not coming from a single donor. And that makes it called Remy here. And definitely the roots and the ends are all in one direction. That's called Remy. And for the virgin hair, as you see, the bundle is much smaller and there is no exact standard. Why? Because it's all single donor individually cut hair. So if I take any bundle right now, it's going to be of different weight, of different structure, of different texture, and probably of a different tone. Let me show you. So this bundle, for example, is different from this one. So that's actually the difference between the virgin and the Remy here. Last but not the least, uniqueness brings us to the last point. Why the Russian hair is so unique? So the answer is simple. The Russian hair is very, very thin, it's very soft, and it's very silky. If you touch the Russian hair, it's super, super thin in its structure. Please pay attention. And I would say, actually, that the Russian hair is the thinnest hair in the world. And you can't compare any other source of the hair, especially we get a question for the Indian hair. It's like, it's like comparing oranges and the apples. It's something uncomparable. The Russian hair is very, very soft and very thin. So coming to the texture, I would like to emphasize that straight and wavy textures are very natural to the Russian hair. And here I'll show, I'll show you the difference. Here I'm holding the two steam processed hair, which is body weight and kinky curl. This was done by a special technique, by a water weight. But that's a separate topic, okay? And now I'm going to show you the straight, natural straight Russian hair. As you can see, the texture is like a bone straight, very, very nice, very soft. And I'm also going to show you the wavy texture. Beautiful. It's, it's natural. You see how it flows? Very beautiful. The color versatility point, uh, it's, it's important to know that if some vendor offers you or proposes a specific color of the Russian hair, that means it's not Russian hair. Why? Because Russian hair is so limited that you can't actually have a big selection, like a great selection of the hair to work with or to color to a specific, to, to a specific color. And not only that, to get a certain color of exact, to, of exact tonality, it's super hard. That's, that's a secret, like a production, a, a production secret, and it's, it's hard to get a, a standardized color that's going to be the same all the time. And now I'm going to show you. So if I take two bundles of the blonde, let's take even three. And I hope you guys can see there. So you can see three different blonde shades. So we actually call it all blonde here. 
but it has some differences in tonality. And this is totally fine. If somebody offers you a specific tone by tone, that means there is something in there. That means that it's not really, it's not really the genuine, virgin, pure Russian gear. Because every donor comes from a single girl and every hair has a different texture and a different, uh, different structure and a different acceptance of the color. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. I'll be happy to share the next videos, the next parts uh, on this line with more technicalities and with more criteria on specific hair like black hair, blonde hair and the different types. Thank you so much and bye for now.